Hi and welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about Microsoft Teams and this is an update video to the how to hide the control bar. Um, fundamentally there are three control bars in Microsoft Teams when you're having a video chat um, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can hide them from the screen so you can have um, a bigger um, picture to digest um, presentations, screen sharing, um, or other people's video feeds. Um, if you find this useful, please do click on the like button, hit subscribe, and tap that bell. It means a lot to the channel. And with all that said, let's jump on over to Microsoft Teams. Okay, so here I am just within my general team, and I'm just going to quickly go into a Meet Now um, and set up a meeting. Um, so here we are just inside a um, standard video chat meeting. Now obviously I haven't got a camera that's working at the moment, um, however it's not really relevant to this particular video. Um, so what we're going to do is actually have a look at, I'll just turn that one off, um, this particular control bar to start with. So as I quickly mentioned in the uh, intro to this video, um, there are three different control bars. This is the first control bar that we're going to talk about um, and obviously we're going to be looking at how we can hide it. In order to hide this particular control bar um, so that it's not blocking your view here and um, with all your various different visual feeds coming in is to actually stop moving your mouse and um, when you stop moving your mouse for a few seconds the actual um, control bar will disappear from the screen obviously the second that you go and move your mouse again it will return um, so that is somewhat useful but not overly useful it would be great that um, if Microsoft Teams will eventually come up with a way to minimize this particular control bar. Um, but for now, all you have is the ability to um, stop moving your mouse and it will disappear. And then the second way that you can get rid of this particular taskbar, uh, control bar, is to actually move your mouse off of the screen altogether. Um, and in default, therefore, it will not reappear until your mouse enters that particular screen. So um, if you have multiple monitors like I do here, um, I can have um, so, for example, if I just um, reduce this screen down, for example, um, and, and I go and actually just move my mouse off the screen here, I can continue to move my mouse outside of the application perfectly fine. Um, and only when my mouse goes back into the application will that control bar appear. Um, so that's the first control bar and the methods that um, in order to actually hide this is relatively simple. Just stop moving the mouse or if you have multiple desktops, move um, the application to a different monitor and then continue working outside of the application and that taskbar will disappear and obviously this helps you digest um, presentations etc. So the second control bar that we're going to talk about if I just share my desktop here um, in and then just come back into Microsoft Teams meeting here so the sharing of your um, screen gives you this particular taskbar just here and obviously you can move it around and um, float it wherever you need to move it off the screen put it onto a different monitor all those things work but you can also have this minimize button just here and if you minimize that it will then obviously disappear off the screen so it's not blocking your screen sharing experience with anybody else um, and again you can bring it back just by coming um, over to the taskbar and finding the control panel and then it can bring it back onto the screen just like this Okay, um, so that is the second um, control bar that you have access to in Microsoft Teams. And then the third one is actually at the top of your screen here. So when you're in your screen sharing, you if you hover and actually hold your mouse just at the very top of the screen, you are presented with a new term control bar just here. And this is the third control bar. This tells you what you're currently doing. So I'm currently presenting, or if you're in a presentation, it would say presentation or whatever it may need, um, it would say there. Um, then you have the ability to give control of your um, computer over to someone else using this particular part here. And from the drop down, you can select a particular participant um, that's in your meeting and then you give it to that particular person. Um, this section here is then about your system audio. You can include it or um, not include it in my case. And then you obviously have the stop presenting um, button and then you can pin this. So for example, if I'm presenting, I could pin this particular control bar just here or I can unpin it and it will disappear from the screen and I would have to hover above um, my screen here just to bring that control bar back. 
Um, and then again, I can bring this um, floating control bar back and then stop sharing. This then takes you back into the main meeting. Um, and again, you are presented with this particular control bar here, where again, if you stop moving your mouse, it will disappear. Or again, just um, take your mouse off of the application and it will disappear of its own accord and will only return when your mouse enters back into the application. Um, and that is it, guys. That is how you go about... Um, control bars and how to hide them. If you found this useful, please do click on the like button, hit subscribe and tap that bell. It means a lot to the channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.